Hello everyone, two updates here on two recent drone attacks. The first one, the reported drone attack by Belarusian partisans at Machulishki Air Base in Belarus, which was said to have targeted an A-50U AWACS aircraft. This satellite image is from before the attack on the 15th of February, showing the A-50 at the airport. First, the fact it is white is that it is covered in snow. Now, we have a new updated image from afterwards, from the 28th, and I have to say it's inconclusive. First of all, the plane has moved position. However, considering that the past image we have is from the 15th, we don't know when it moved position. It could have took off and landed here prior to the 28th. So first of all, you will notice dark markings on the wings and on the radome, which could be signs of damage. However, if we look at an image of this very aircraft here, and this is the same aircraft which was attacked, you can see it's not in the best condition anyway. So these markings may not be damaged, but just the fact that Russia has let this poor old bird deteriorate so badly. I've also seen suggestions that this could be a um, frost melt causing the discoloration. Secondly, your eyes will be drawn to the pinkish colour on the side of the A50U which I first thought may be the remains of fire retardant, unless Russia has decided to make its air force fabulous now and is giving it a new coat of paint. Unfortunately, that is a trick of a light. Here's a zoomed out image of the base itself, showing some buildings with the same pinkish tint. There are a number of vehicles parked around the A50U though, which does hint that maybe something did happen to it, as it's peculiar to have so many utility vehicles parked around one airframe like this. But the airframe is in one piece and it is impossible to tell if the discoloration is damaged or just the fact that the airframe is a heap of junk. Again, a few comments also said the discoloration is from frost melt. But just because damage isn't visible really on this satellite image doesn't mean that it isn't damaged. A drone exploding on the radome is bound to cause some damage to it even if it can't be seen. So the aircraft, if it was hit by something, would likely need repairing. So the next update I have for you is more conclusive. This is an update of the attack on Tuapsa oil refinery. This set of photos here, showing some of the damage caused to the Rosneft oil plant. So this is pretty impressive. The drone, likely a 2141 or 2143, has caused a lot of damage here. I also have an older video from January the 23rd showing that the Rosneft oil refinery in Tuapsa was protected, and I'm greatly stretching the meaning of the word protected here, by a Panzer S1 SAM system, which has become quite known so far in failing at its job. Before we finish, just a reminder of where these incidents took place. So here is a map showing the location of Machulisky Air Base in Belarus, and here is a map showing the location of the Rosneft oil refinery in Tuapsa. So that's it for this video. If I get any more updates, I will of course do another video on them. If you found this video interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.